Tell me about this film. I absolutely loved it, and I think it was um, a, a breath of fresh air in terms of black love films. Um, it took us through an array of emotions from racism, colorism, uh, deep Jim Crow South, brotherhood, love, uh, friendship. Um, and as you know, someone who wrote and produced and directed this film, tell me a little bit about what was the main emotion that you wanted audience to feel once they watched this film? Because it, it's so much and it impacts so much, but if you had to pick one emotion that you wanted audience to feel once, once they watched this film, what would that be? A curiosity, I guess. Curiosity in, in a sense of, the reason I thought the timing was right is because there's so much uh, going on with politics in America where there are certain political figures who are trying to whitewash and water down the black experience. They don't want to talk about slavery as it happened or, the Jim Crow, or how bad Jim Crow was. They want it homogenized. They want books banned. They don't want to teach it to the, to the kids. So for me, if this sparks curiosity in people, it makes them want to look up the time and what was really going on, then I feel like a jazz man would have, would have act, delivered some mail to some people's doors. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You couldn't agree more. And you kind of uh, segue into my next question. Um, there's rumors initially when the, the trailer came out, there's rumors about this being the black notebook. And it kind of exactly what you said. I think it touches on so much more yeah. than love and so much more than, you know, relationships um, within this film. What would be your response to those rumors? Uh, well, first of all, The Notebook was, was a fascinating movie, and the same uh, 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 guy, this, the guy who did the score, Aaron Zygmunt did the score for uh, Notebook, Why Did I Get Married? He also did the score for this film. So I can understand why people would think that based on the trailer, but once you see the movie, you're in for a very different ride. It's a very different experience. And unfortunately for black people at that time, our love stories didn't always end up like The Notebook. Exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. And that actually kind of leads me to what I'm going to say. Um, unlike The Notebook, Black people, unfortunately, deal with a lot of trauma, especially in those times, surrounding love. And then you add the colorism, the racism, and everything like that. Can you, can you as, as the creative behind this project, do you think that these, these themes, uh, negative themes, unfortunately, still have an effect on us today with in relationships with, you know, um, man and woman, man to man, within romantic relationships, within friendships, within family. Are, are those things that, that were portrayed in this film still affecting us today? We would be foolish to think that it wasn't. I, I remember reading a study about Jewish Holocaust survivors, how the, how the trauma and the pain and what they endured actually changed their DNA. It actually changed the DNA of the people who suffered and passed on to the generations to come afterwards. So it absolutely has affected us, and it still does. And for anyone to deny that, I think we're, it would be a, a tragic mistake, because if you don't realize the far-reaching effects of everything we've been through, then we can never get over it and get past it and get to a better us. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and just to close, I, could, I couldn't applaud you more for your, your films in the past. They've been just such a comedic, com comedic uh, masterpiece. And you also you know, include elements of real life in all the Medea films. But with this film specifically, um, I like that you took the avenue to look at black love. Yeah, thank um, you. Is there a reason that you wanted to step into this genre specifically? No, I mean, I was, I was 26 years old or 25 years old when I wrote it, something like that. And I just, it was a much different time in my life. And to see that it held up all of these years and was ready to go, I just thought, hmm, now's the time. Yeah. And, and it ended up being so timely. I feel yeah. like we need, you know, although there's black trauma and it really represents the black story, especially yeah. in that time, we still need to see that love, you know, that black love in between the two characters. Um, what what do you want audience to take away? I mean, you talked about the emotions behind it, um, and you, you said the curiosity uh, of that time period. When when they look into that time period, what do you want them to see? You know, sometimes I feel like you know, white America whitewash is all the trauma that we've been through and how it shapes our life in 2022. Besides the curiosity, what do you want them to see when those who aren't familiar with you know, the things that happened in that time look into this after viewing this film? 
Uh, someone said to me once when they saw the trailers, like, Tyler, why, why, why can't we just have Black Joy? Why do we have to go through all this black trauma? Why do we keep seeing these kind of movies? And my, my answer to that is simple. I have a seven-year-old who is so far removed from my experience, my mother's experience, my grandfather, grandmother's experience. And I don't want any child, especially a black child in, in the world, in America especially, to miss what the people before us had to endure so that we can have the freedoms that we do and go to places that we go. And for me, that would be really tragic if somebody would see the film and walk away with nothing, right? So my hope is whatever your, whatever speaks to you in the film, let that land with you. So I don't have one specific thing because there's so many themes that are running through it. I just hope that it speaks to someone in some way. Yes. and I. 100% know it will. It spoke to me in so many ways. So yeah, thank, thank you. you, Tyler. And thank you for this film. I thank think you. we really needed it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sydney. Right. Okay. Take care. Bye.